It's the NFL on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the AFC South. It's the Houston Texans and the Tennessee Titans. And it's all up next. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Today, it's an intra-division matchup in the AFC South as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Tennessee Titans. Brandon Gordon joined by Tennessee Sports Hall of Famer Charles Davis. And CD, these Titans stumbled a bit last year. They were coming off six straight winning seasons, a number one seed in 2021, but they fell to seven and 10 a year ago. A major surprise because it certainly looked like they had the division locked up around midseason. The big key for them, more consistency at the quarterback position, keeping their guy healthy and being able to run the football as impressively as they've done in the past. And meanwhile, for the Houston Texans, the future is now. They take C.J. Stroud out of Ohio State, number two overall. And we will see him get the nod as starter in this one. <laughs> you and I laugh privately often when teams say, well, we want him to sit and learn. Come on, if you take him that high, play him right away, go ahead and get him started, and we'll see him do exactly that in this one. The ball on the tee, we're set for football. And off we go from Nashville. Taking it about the one. Oh, good looking return set up here. And they finally get to him out near midfield, but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. So a new face at quarterback for the Titans in 2023. It's the 24-year-old rookie out of Kentucky, Charles, Will Levis. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Henry again on second down. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's gonna be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Here's Levis. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. Try the right side with Henry. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 33, here's second and four. They'll run it again with Henry. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Fights off the defender, and he will have the Titans first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. 
the best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. Over the middle complete. That's Hopkins. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Folk's kick is good, and the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. Well, they had the solid field position there to start the opening drive and didn't have to really move it too far to be in range and take the three nothing lead. And a lot of times when I think that even I look at this a little bit negatively because of where they started with the field position. Hey, they still got three points out of this drive. Got a little momentum going, got things set up for the rest of the ball game. Take the three, be happy, and move on. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. So here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback, the second overall pick from Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Stroud's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Well, Charles, look, and this is probably a harbinger of things to come. He's got such trust in his tight end, and they're on back-to-back -back plays. We're seeing that on display. And when they have that kind of trust, they're not as worried about what the coverage is because they feel like they know each other so well. They'll make the solo move downfield, and the ball end up in the right spot. And by the way, partner, what's Harbinger mean? Help me out. Well, you're the one that taught me that a few years ago, so I'll have to lean on you for that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just hoping it fit into the sentence correctly. I must have got it from my word of the day calendar on my desk. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Here's Stroud. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And so it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. A man coming off a great rookie year. It's Damian Pierce. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That good for 22 and a first down. It's a big place in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Now a first and 10 at the 11. 
And they'll go right back to Pierce. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Damian Pierce. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Texans are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. First and 10, it's Levis. The hook up on the right side to Hunt. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Levis sets up to throw here. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. He wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Second down, here's Levis. On oh, the out route, he's got Burks. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Levis out of the gun on third down. And it'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. On the slant, Burks. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Levis to throw once more. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. 
Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Off the option, here's Henry. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Titans have retaken the lead. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal, but we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here. And they wind up punching this one into the end zone. Full connects on the extra point. And the lead is now 10 to 7. So that drive goes eight plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. And that one gonna come up short, low throw. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Pierce now up the middle, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just run them and hit. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. Play action. Here's Stroud. Gets the dump off to Pierce. So give him two yards there on the completion. And it'll be second down. Pierce takes it straight ahead. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Third and four. Stroud. disposal that we don't often talk about and you can read the receiver's eyes you can read his hands and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away on fourth down here's Cameron Johnston on to punt for Houston Kyle Phillips deep for Tennessee and this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds and here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field for this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, 
This is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. 10-7 our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Henry running right. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Levis looking to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third down and 12. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. On uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Desmond King deep for Houston. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. Here's Pierce on the counter. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Now they need two. Here's third down. Stroud off the play fake. Knocked away and incomplete. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there, waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start, but they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. Taken from just outside the 30. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and it'll be Titan football. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. He finds his man complete. It's Phillips. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That's good for 28 yards. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's completion right there. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, down at the 33. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Levis to throw it. And the catch made by Hopkins. Catch number four for him in the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down.
Inside handoff, Henry trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, Henry. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Again, it's Henry. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Levis out of the shotgun now. Oh, man, and it's taken in for the Titans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins from six yards away. And the Titans had six to their lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. And the Texans sent to come onto the field. They find themselves down 17 to seven as they start this drive first and 10. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. Throw right side taken in by Collins. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Uh, give to Pierce. 47 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. First down, they go right back to Pierce. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 
They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. And yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Stroud now on first and 10. That's complete. It's Collins. Here's a second and five. Throwing now is Stroud. To the sideline and incomplete. I tell you what, that's a better report than the guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. The Texans on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Stroud looking to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans' defense holds up in coverage. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. He's the star wide receiver, and he's doing his thing so far here into the second quarter. And how you get distinguished as a star is each and every week performing to a high level no matter what they throw at you because you're always wanting to take him out of the game if you're a defensive team. How do you press him, double him, triple him, all those things. But the best players show up each and every week. Solid games and some spectacular ones. And he has showed up time and time again. Second down and six now from the 26. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he powers his way up past the 30. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Third down and one. Levis. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. A first down carry for Henry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Now second and five. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 69 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out and right up the middle. And showcasing those strong legs on that run. Getting through one tackle. Now she winds up getting eight there. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Two yards to go, second down. Levis back to throw. Phillips has it running right the out route. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down.
Now Levis. A short throw taken in by Conquero. And he's taken down inside the 30. First down, Titans gain of 12. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On first down, Levis. Over the middle, he has a Conquero. Titans are able to extend their lead. When we drop defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. On for the extra point is Folk. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. That time, a nine-play drive. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Desmond King to return it from his end zone. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Offense back out there along with Damian Pierce. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times, but as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points on? Uh, coaches always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he when he gets moving. Not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Meanwhile, Stroud's throw taken in by Collins. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. On first down, here's Stroud. That'll be caught left side by Woods. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Stroud to the air on first and 10. And this is taken in at the five. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Touchdown, Texans! Nico Collins, a five-yard touchdown. And the Texans get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead down to 10, 24-14.
So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting and the kick is away. Taken at the goal line. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And it'll be a terrific return here as he gets it down all the way inside the 30. I know the special teams coach will not permit himself a smile here, but inside, he's glowing. This is what he practices for. This is what he schemes. This is what he watches tape to put himself and his team in a position to score points. An absolute dream return. First and ten. Here's Levis. Over the middle, into the hands of Burks. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Levis from the gun. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. A great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Titans will extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around, they're reading coverages early. So now, they're like season pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Desmond King now to return it. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've reached halftime here in Nashville, the Music City, with the Titans out in front. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a very solid first half from the young rookie from Kentucky, Will Levis. He was slicing and dicing this defense and wound up with three touchdown passes in the first half. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. King going to look to bring it out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Texans going to take over here to start quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down.
Man in motion left. That's Collins. On second down, here's Pierce. Seven yards there at a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. First down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Another carry for Pierce. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. 80 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 43, it's second and three. Play action. Stroud down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. We talk a lot about setting the tone to start the game. Well, you want to start the tone right in the third quarter as well and nearly lost a football there in their first drive. And sometimes we overdo it when we talk about halftime adjustments and what teams are going to do. Most of the time, it's just a matter of executing the game plan you brought in. But I'll guarantee you, they didn't draw that play up on the whiteboard at halftime. They're fortunate to retain possession. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Here's Stroud. And that is incomplete. Well, they have any designs of getting back into this football game in the second half. They're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down and eight. Levis sets up to throw here. That's complete downfield to Oconquo. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Levis now on first and 10. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. Here's second and 10. Here's Levis. He finds his man complete. It's Phillips. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 45-yard line. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. A nice run there on first down as Henry uses his size to plow forward, call it a pickup of seven. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Henry again on second down. 
Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy. Always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and 10. Henry up the middle. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Working from the gun, here's Levis. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. Folk's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three more points tacked on, and this margin getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. The Texans' offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Stroud to throw it. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A pickup of 11 at a Texans first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. They run with the former Buffalo Bill, Devin Singletary. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. 
Stroud sets up the play action. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 26 yard line. And Stroud now to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. Man in motion left. That's Collins. Pierce now up the middle. This time as he's taken down right around the 26. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Stroud. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 15-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. First and 10, it's Stroud. That's to the pylon and incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now Stroud. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. They'll come up facing third and five. Stroud looking to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Singletary. Trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Second and goal from the one. Throwing now is Stroud. Touchdown! Noah Brown from a yard out. And the Texans are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that went good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Point after.
Foster right down the middle. And that cuts this lead down to 13. is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Titans now just about ready to take over. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. They begin with Henry. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's the Titans. They've got the football. They'll be looking to extend their lead here as we begin the fourth quarter. They'll run it again with Henry. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. A handoff, running left, Henry to about the 35, second down. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. From the 35, here's a second and seven. Running from the gun with Henry. And this is gonna be a Titans first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Inside handoff, Henry. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Levis on third down. That is caught, breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. Touchdown, Titans! The Titans have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch, and it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly feels that way, right? But when you look at the scoreboard, this rookie, he has his team moving a little bit quicker pace than his opponents. The entire offense is going to get plenty of praise, but I think these coaches have to be especially happy with what their quarterback has done. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And the 
the formula there on the two-point try. They go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. And here comes the Texans now. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing a partner. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Second and six, just inside the 30. Back to throw. Stroud got his man complete over the middle. It's Pierce. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 10 yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now a second and two. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 91 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Looking to throw. Stroud. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Stroud out of the gun here. Right side complete, that's Woods. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 35. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Stroud now on first and 10. He's got his man. It's the tight end, Brevin Jordan. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 29, here's the second and four. They'll give this to Singletary running right and tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. The Texans on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They're up against a third and one situation. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. 
They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Over the middle, that's caught by Woods. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Back to throw. Stroud. Touchdown, Texans! Nico Collins. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead will be cut down to 14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Brandon, every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, and you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into some. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. A big play that time for the Titans. 63 yards. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Oh, how about this on first and goal? Oh, and this one him, may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. <laughs> you get five, that's a whale of a game. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. Getting set to go again here, Robert Woods marches back onto the field. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw. Stroud. He'll complete this one to Collins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I think this is what this game's become now. You just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but... Not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. Again on second down, it's Stroud. Over the middle here to Brown. Five yards, now it's third and five. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Stroud. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Stroud. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. On first down, here's Stroud. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Collins, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. On second down, it's Stroud. That'll be caught left side by Woods. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Now a second and ten. Yeah. 
Stroud to throw it. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Again, it's Stroud. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. That's Aziz Al Shair getting through for the sack that time. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. Fourth down. Here's Stroud. Looking for the end zone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First down, Titans gain of 12. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level from both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.